We're in the, the Facebook Live queue here at the Munda Dial Summit at Rock Hampton Hall. I'm with Maria Norberg. She has joined us all the way from Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah. Far, far away. So can you tell us a little bit about the work that you've been doing? Yeah, so I, I run an organization named Technique Winner in Swedish, which is Women in Technology in English. And we manage the largest network for women in technology in Sweden. Uh, we got about 28,000 active members every single month. We have a recruitment network of 10,000 in wow. individuals and then we work with gender equality and inclusion at technologically heavy organizations. Okay. Uh, so it's all like from these enormous multinational firms down to smaller firms that are on the scale of this basically. Okay. And bringing all the different perspectives. In. So then, are you looking at sort of what organizations need at every growth stage? Like, are you parsing it out by like sort of scale up startup enterprise, or, or how do you sort of break it down? So I, I normally break it down based on conversations. Like we normally start at the top management team and talk to them because I believe fundamentally that that's where you have to start to get the buy-in from the organizations. Okay. And even though like who they are and where they come from, like they have to know individually why it is important. Like, it's not pink washing. It's not like something you do for good. It's actually a business critical question. And if the top management doesn't realize there's a business critical question, then you won't see the change happening fast enough. Okay. Based on like at least my experience. Uh, and then we have like we build networks within the organizations with ambassadors that will drive the question of gender equality and help change the culture and understand the culture and then we get the top down and then the bottom up. Okay. Like it's it's often quite hard I find like for it's easy for management to communicate down in the organization, okay. but for them to get to, to listen and realize what the organization experience is it's, it's quite hard in like okay. all the different things. Yeah, no doubt. So do you, do you bring intersectionality into your practice at all, or, or is that sort of conversation in your context right now? It's more like, we start off somewhere with like raising the awareness and the knowledge. Okay. Uh, okay. And we do a lot of work with both like women and non binary but also male. Mm -hmm. uh, like the men are so important, I believe, because they are the minority and they have to be a part of the change. For sure. Uh, yeah. And I find that like one of the reasons why a firm might not have come that far is due to some way like fairness of talking about it and feeling comfortable and like as a person individual being blamed for it. So just open up the books and having the conversations uh, and the realizations and asking these hard questions as a way to start thought to go away. Got it. Okay. And what would you say like what's been the biggest sort of learning that you've or I'm sure there's been plenty, but what's one of the sort of most standout pieces that you've really you know, actualized in the last few years of the work? It's like, like two sides of the coin. Like one part is there are so many similarities mm -hmm. of challenges within different fields within yeah. technology, yeah. Uh, and every single field by themselves think that they are doing the worst or they are having the most extreme challenges okay. while like talking to all the different industries and fields it's like you, you have basically the same fundamental challenges and you have to come together and, and work with it uh, and get that understanding um, and then like we do some like research within the network uh, asking about like their view on their career and companies and industries mm -hmm. and we found that like 62 percent of all the women have changed industries okay. throughout their careers okay. half of them even more than twice okay so the belonging of the the, in the specific industry within technology is by like you don't feel like you you're, you're, you don't even identify with the industry itself you see what i mean like right. so in regards to, like recruitment and keeping competence like, I think that you should broaden your perspectives on where you look for talent, where you look for competence, and where you look for people. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So will you be coming back next year to join us? Hopefully. Yeah. I would love to. <laughs> okay. It's been a great day and like so many inspiring people, uh, such a diverse group of people and different thoughts and their experiences and I think it's a great way and we have to get together and share those experiences. So that's been Maria Norberg uh, joining us from the Facebook.
Facebook Live Cube at the Movidado Summit 2019.